Hey guys, it's Joe. I hope everyone's doing great out there. Coming at you tonight with a haul video, I guess you could call it. Um, one of my good friends just went to Disney World, and I don't know if you guys know or not. Some people probably do. Uh, Disney just made uh, Haunted Mansion Funko Pups, and they are exclusive to the uh, Walt Disney World and Disneyland parks. So you can only buy them at Disney World or Disneyland. So when I found out he was going to Disney World, I said, hey, you know, keep an eye out um, for them. Uh, grab me one. If you see, uh, if you see one, um, you know, he asked me which one I would want. I said, whatever. I said, they're pretty cool. So I wouldn't mind having one or whatever. And, uh, Surprising to my surprise, he came back with all four of them. So I now have the complete set of Haunted Mansion Funko Pops. So uh, I'm just going to show them off here and we're going to see them. These things are super cool. Uh, you know, I've never seen them uh, in person, obviously, until, th until this very moment. He just gave me the bag. Um, so these are super cool. Um, we have... Uh, Gus from the Haunted Mansion here and as you can see it comes with an exclusive Walt Disney World sticker on it there it says uh, authentic original Disney parks exclusive so the first time I've, I think these are the you guys are better Funko experts than me as far as I know these are the only Disney park exclusive Funko Pups they've ever done I could be wrong you guys will have to let me know but um very awesome. Uh, you know, it just says Haunted Mansion, number 164 there. Um, pretty cool box art on the back with, like, the dark, the black wallpapering there and stuff like that. Um, and, yeah, so we'll pull them out. You know, we'll take a look at them, get a good look at them. I love the colors on these things. They're all, like, the blue, like a blue translucent-looking color here. Uh, but these are super cool. And uh, for what I, I guess, pretty rare, like, you know, obviously, because you can only get them in the park. Uh, but, all right, we'll pull him out and get a good look at him. All righty, if I can get the damn thing out. I just don't want to, you know, obviously damage the box or anything like that. He might have to come out from the bottom. Yeah, he's being a little pest. He doesn't want to come out of the box. Um, so I think we'll have to open him both ways to get him out. He is a bigger look. He's kind of a big pop, actually. All right, so we got him. He was in this, stuck in there pretty good. All right, so we got... Ah, oh, he's very cool. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, he looks great. So we get a good look at him here. He's holding uh, his ball and chain. He's got his thumb out hitchhike in there. I uh, love the color on this guy. He is super awesome looking there. The ball, even the ball is, it might not show well on video. They, in the back there, you can see the ball is like almost like a see-through, um, you know, bluish color there. And, you know, he's completely, you know, his body is almost completely see-through there. If I put my finger, you might be able to see it in the back there a little. But... Yeah, very cool looking. He is super cool, and this is Gus. I didn't even know they had names. Um, you know, I love the ride at Disney, but um, other than that, I uh, you know, that's really as far as I know about Haunted Mansion. I'm not like a massive, um, you know, haunt, Haunted Mansion fanatic. I know a lot of people are. I know people that have Haunted Mansion tattoos and stuff like that. Um, but absolutely love the ride and had to have these things and goes great with my collection because Haunted Mansion, horror based and you know, these are super cool and love Disney. Who doesn't love Disney World? Um, but there you go. We got Gus. So number two, we will, ha we have Ezra and he looks really cool. So we got Ezra there, Haunted Mansion. And these are like all really, they're all really cool looking. Um, the boxes on them are all exactly pretty much the same, except obviously their characters on the side there, but all pretty much uh, the same. Um, numbered, I think it's 162 to like 166 or something like that are the numbers on the top here. But, all right, we'll pull out Ezra. Um, 
And we'll take a look at what Ezra looks like here. He looks really cool. Um, so, yeah, very, very cool. We have another, uh, he looks like he's hitchhiking too there. He's got his thumb out, you know, and he's holding his hat there. His little hat, and you know, same exact type of color as um, Gus. I will kind of hold them together to show um, them together there. But like I, you know, as you can see, uh, very similar on the colors there. Bodies both translucent with the heads like a very dark blue color. So super cool. He looks awesome. Um, almost kind of has a Jack Skeleton look uh, to him on this one, kind of with the mouth there. So, um, yep, but very cool. There's a good shot of Ezra. So he looks awesome. And next we will go with, we have Phineas. So here we have Phineas, and there is the side of him. And we'll pull him out. All very cool looking, um... All very cool looking pups though, for sure. Absolutely happy to have the complete set. I was, like I said, I was only expecting, I told him, you know, to grab me one. I, you know, but it was, he was very nice to get all four. Um, and I was super happy to, you know, get a complete set of these guys. Um, they're very cool and I'm very happy to have them all. Um, so once again, once again, another one, he's thumbing. And what's he holding here? He looks like he's just holding uh, some sort of handbag. Or whatever there. But he's got a nice little grin on him. He's got one of his eyes kind of like half closed there. His hat. Once again, the body pretty clear with the top of his head. Um, a little darker. But uh, the hat is basically com almost completely translucent. I love the colors on these guys. They're very awesome. So we'll put the three of them together there. The three hitchhiking dudes here the three of them together there all very awesome and the last one is probably my favorite one um he looks amazing he is really really cool looking i absolutely love this one different color scheme too on this one and it is the hat box ghost uh absolutely love this one he just looks really cool he looks a little more menacing and i love like the white color of him and i love the cape he's wearing um, but very awesome there. We'll get a side uh, box art view once again on him. But, uh, yeah, so let's pull him out. He kind of has the same look as Ezra, actually, now that I'm looking at it um, a little closer. He looks a little, he's definitely different looking, but the face-wise, almost a little, you know, similar looking to Ezra with the mouth. But, you know, you Disney, you know, fans or big Haunted Mansion fans out there will have to let me know, you know, if there's like a backstory to these guys or anything. Um, but, all right, we got Hatbox Ghost, and he is friggin' really... Um, once again, the same, you know, translucent type, um, see-through type deal here with, um, you know, he's pretty, yeah, he's a little darker on the body on this one but super awesome looking there like i said uh mouth wise with ezra their mouths are almost I identical maybe not he's got i just got a little bit bigger teeth there but almost looks like maybe they could have used the same head mold with them possibly we'll see and yeah he so he's holding some sort of box here i don't know what's in the box but yeah he's holding the box here with his cane ah, he's the coolest one i think for sure He's got his little uh, cane there, and the cape on him is super cool looking. So very awesome. So that is, uh, so that yeah, so that is it, guys. Those are the four haunted mansion pops. Um, you know what? I will. You know what? I'll do it. At, I'll do it at the end. The end of this video, I'll stand the four of them up together, so you guys can get like a good look at how the four of them look together as a set. And uh, so, yeah, so that's it, guys. So stay tuned um, after um, the end of this video, and I will show them together. But uh, so signing off, though, everyone have a great night, and uh, we'll see you all real soon. So, hey, guys, here's what they look like together as a set there. They look really cool, the three of them together there. 
with the three of them hitchhiking there, and then you get your half box ghost on the edge there. Ignore the ghost busters on the side there, but that's what the four of them look like together as a set. So very cool. So let me know, guys, which one is your favorite. Um, and yeah, so that's it. So uh, once again, everyone have a great night, and we'll see you all real soon.